Unlike most other biochemical tests like Benedict's test, Failing's test, Tollens, Barfoyt, Seliwanov's test, etc., that are used to detect and distinguish specific types of carbohydrates such as reducing sugars from non-reducing sugars or keto sugars from aldo sugars, the Molish's test is a biochemical test to detect the presence of carbohydrates in general. Molish's test is named after the Austrian botanist Hans Molish, who invented the reagent and the test. Molish's reagent consists of a phenolic compound called alpha naphthol, dissolved in ethanol or other appropriate solvents. This video will be on the preparation protocol for Molish's reagent. To watch my video on how the test is actually performed, do click on the link given in the screen right now or the link given in the description below. To prepare 100 ml of the reagent, you will need the following. Alpha naphthol crystals. 95% or 100% ethanol or chloroform Analytical weighing scale 100 ml volumetric flask or graduated cylinder 100 ml beaker Stirring rod Funnel Dropper or pipette A suitable labeled container for final storage of the reagent To begin the protocol, first weigh exactly 5 grams or 15 grams of alpha naphthol in the 100 ml beaker using a weighing scale I'll be weighing 5 grams for this. Now add about 30 to 40 ml of the solvent to the beaker and stir to completely dissolve the naphthol. The solvent may be 95% ethanol or 100% ethanol or chloroform. In case you're using chloroform as a solvent, make sure to perform the reagent preparation in a well ventilated area or under a fume cupboard. I'll be using 95% ethanol in this video. Once the naphthol has completely dissolved, which takes just about a minute or so, transfer the contents of the beaker into a 100 ml volumetric flask or a graduated cylinder. Rinse the beaker, the stirring rod and the funnel a few times using minimal quantities of the chosen solvent, in this case 95% ethanol, and transfer the washings into the flask or the cylinder. This ensures complete transfer of all traces of the reagent into the flask. Now make up the volume in the flask to exactly 100 ml using the same solvent used to dissolve the alpha naphthol. Stopper the flask and invert it several times to homogenize the solution. Transfer the prepared reagent in the suitable, well-labeled, airtight container for final storage. Molish's reagent is now ready to be used for carbohydrate tests. You can also take a shortcut method and simply dissolve 5 or 15 grams of alpha naphthol directly in 100 ml of the solvent taken in the beaker. Do click on the links given in the description below or click on the end screen card shown on the screen right now to watch my other videos on biochemical tests and reagent preparations. Thanks for watching.